in terms of science, I would say Nikola Tesla, uh, the great Serbian inventor and engineer, was a strong inspiration. As a child, I knew a lot about uh, Nikola Tesla's inventions. He's the inventor that gave us alternate current motors and uh, really provided electricity that could power our modern world. Uh, and knowing that here was a man who came out of a village in Serbia uh, whose father was a priest and he was able to pursue science and technology and physics with such wonderful outcomes uh, was, uh, even at a young age, an important lesson and, and in some sense mentor to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad you mentioned Nikola Tesla. Just recently we had a like, uh, beautiful lecturing at Northwest University and you were part of it. Could you give us a little bit more information about that? I can. This was really an exciting event. Uh, there's a museum dedicated to Nikola Tesla in Belgrade and they've assembled a traveling exhibit that already has gone to 20 different countries over the past several years. Surprisingly, that exhibit has not come to the United States. And so I was uh, uh, co-chair of a committee here in Chicago that organized an exhibit so that we could host uh, that display in Chicago. And we have on Navy Pier a site for three weeks uh, where the exhibit is available to the public. And it's been remarkable. We've had tens of thousands of people come through to see the exhibit. And it's interesting because Tesla's inventions and his impact are incredible wireless technology, cell phones, uh, motors, power, are all really stem from his early inventions, yet he's reasonably unknown. So many people maybe have heard his name but don't really understand his inventions. And this chance to have a display, to have active models of his motors and inventions, and have so many people come through and learn about him and leave excited and impressed with what he did, uh, is really special. Mm -hmm. uh, 1893, Navy Pier and Tesla. Well, this is a great story. 1893 was uh, the year that Chicago hosted the World Fair. It's also the first year that light bulbs were used to provide lighting at the World Fair. And it was Nikola Tesla that brought electricity and the light bulbs to the World Fair. And so to have the first showing of his exhibit in Chicago, the home of uh, of really such an enormous project that he brought to the nation, uh, I think made it extra special. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know Tesla electrical car. <laughs> so one uh, car, Tesla car was there, you know, with Lotus <laughs> kind of shape, uh, that was nice. Uh, and also a radiology, you know, yeah. the measurement in radiology is Tesla, right? That's right. So we were fortunate to have a car from the Tesla a car company on display that certainly attracted a lot of interest, brought a lot of people to the exhibit, and that's uh, one of the early electric cars and quite sporty as well. And it's also true that Tesla was one of the early uh, discoverers of x-rays, and that led to uh, x-rays that are used in, in medical imaging today. Uh, what's interesting, I was uh, speaking with the director of uh, Tesla Museum from Belgrade, um, Vladimir, and uh, he was mentioning that Tesla should have uh, like 10 Nobel Awards and he didn't get none. Well, it really is interesting. Uh, he was a discoverer of radio and a Nobel Prize was awarded to Marconi for that discovery and there was quite, uh, quite significant controversy because Tesla very clearly had made those discoveries years before Marconi and uh, I think people were shocked that he didn't share in the Nobel Prize. Uh, even to this day, there are theories why that was. There were certainly a number of controversies between Tesla and Edison and other scientists who tried to claim credit, and uh, the way these things go, uh, he wasn't recognized. I think what is interesting is that the official international unit for magnetic field is the Tesla, and that came some years after his work but it really shows that the world of scientists and engineers uh, did recognize his pioneering contributions and to have the official unit for magnetism named after him is really uh, a sign of that recognition. So I th that's a really unbelievable inspiration. Tesla inspiration for your uh, science, uh, for your studying and everything, that's great. Um, 